All right, I just watched their movie, and uh, they had a seahorse in it, and they brought out the little puppet. So this is the actual seahorse. Yeah, so this is one of several that we made for the film because everything's always being rigged in stop motion because oh, sure. they're all sea creatures, so you can see... We had different ones with different rigging points and for different animators. Oh my gosh, so your name is Benjamin? Yes, Ben, and this is Kirsten who wrote Kirsten. and produced the film. Oh, that's right, I saw your names in the credits. That is that is so cool, and it took you guys a year to make, and yeah. it was your finished, what school do you go to? Uh, we went to uh, Toronto Metropolitan, formerly Ryerson University. Excellent, a very good school. Very. Pre oh, that's right, it said School of Image Arts. That's exactly right, yeah. Very cool, and this is so, I was wondering, yeah, like is this computer animation, but it's obviously like actual puppets. Yeah, so it's stop motion animation, so essentially real puppets, real sets, real lighting, moving them, taking a picture, moving them again, taking a picture. Oh um, 24 times per second, wow. however many seconds your film is. So it takes a little while, it takes dedication, but at the end, well, I won't spoil it, but there's a, it's a bit of a love story, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. didn't I just see the, the other love puppet in there? Oh my gosh. That's his, that's his girlfriend, I guess. Ah, oh, very cute. Wow. Do they have names? We, the protagonist, we called him Hip, like Hippocampus, but oh, there were many of them, so they yeah, all yeah. have numbers just to refer know. to them. Hippocampus 1, Hippocampus 2. Yeah. Does that have a name now? Just Red? I don't know if this one had a name. It was just Red Seahorse yeah. 1, yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And then, so you guys, so you wrote it? Or you wrote it together? We wrote it together. And then you produced it and you directed it? I directed and built puppets for the film. Wow. That's, did you guys know each other before you worked together? Yeah, we, we met each other in first year, and we've collaborated together ever since. We have similar... Um, stories that we like telling and we we work really well together oh so. my god so you're like this power working duo are you gonna like go to hollywood together and be like this thing we like working in canada honestly as much as uh you know yeah no, no offense right. to any american uh, studios out there we <laughs> i'm sure they're fine yeah. <laughs> yeah no we like canada wow that's great well that's nice I, I i'm getting sick of the winters but whatever you know what if you're inside producing content why not you can be anywhere are you guys from uh, like in toronto then uh we're working out of Toronto. I'm from Vancouver originally, so a little bit warmer. All yeah. right, yeah, Vancouver's a little mild. Yeah. Very cool. And you were just saying you, you're pitching this as a thing, or is that a secret? We're, uh, that's still under wraps at the moment, but keep an eye out for more Lossy Horse stuff. You might sure. see some Lossy Horse stuff. And this, the movie has like an environmental message? Is yeah, it? yeah, so it's got an environmental message, and part of its development, from, from a very early stage, we were working with... Um, ocean consultants in Raja Ampat, which is in Indonesia where the film is set. And we also worked with an NGO called the Sea People. Um, in conjunction with this project, they restored a coral reef on behalf of the film. Um, so that was something that we really wanted to do because it had an ecological message. We wanted to kind of lead by example. That's amazing. The film actually has made a difference for exactly. real seahorses, I guess. Yeah, exactly. That's so beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Do you have a, so is this uh, what you're working on for now, or do you have another project in mind, or what's next for you guys? We were just wrapping up our festival run for this film. We have a couple shorts in the works, a series, uh, a couple things here and there, so keep an eye out. Oh my gosh, all right, we'll be watching for these people. And remember, I got the scoop on them, so I don't know, whatever. All right, thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Bye.